Oh my gosh. The game is forcing me to rest. One week later, thanks to Mimona's pushing and a bit of cooperation from the Pokemon League, the day finally arrived for the Great Pokemon Battle Competition to be held. Hey Nikki! I'm so glad we just managed to get everything ready for the Academy Ace Tournament. Oh yeah, that's what we decided to officially name the tournament. It's a good name, right? Fitting? Memorable? But then Arvin went and said we should call it the School Battle Brawl. And then even Director Clavel start got into calling it that, so now I'm just like, ah. Anyway, how are you feeling, Nikki? In the mindset, in the mindset to do some winning? Fine. There's that enthusiasm. Show us what a, she what a champion's made of. Hmm. It's so cool that La Primera is going to make a guest appearance thanks to your hard work. I wish I didn't have to... I wish I didn't have my hands full with all the behind-the-scenes admin stuff. I won't even get to do any battling myself, but I'll seize the chance to do some objective research into what makes you so good. Anyway, let's get going. I'll meet you at the front desk in the entrance hall. No stalling. How did you get so wrapped up in administrative work that you can't battle? Gosh. There you are, Nikki. You've got to go through the application process with the staffer before you can actually participate in the tournament. Ready for that explanation now, mister? Alright, the rules of the Academy Ace Tournament are as follows. Any student or faculty member of the Academy may enter. Your opponents will be random, and only winners will advance to the next round. The opponents will be matched by lottery, and the lottery is run by the people in charge. That means you'll have no idea who you'll be facing until you meet them on the battle court. Winners, as I said, will get to advance to the next round. But lose once, and you're knocked out. No more battles for you after that. The last trainer standing, the only person to win all their matches, will be deemed the best of all, the Academy's ace. Thanks very much. We hashed out the tournament rules with help from Director Clable. Based on the number of entrants so far, you'd probably have to win four times to take it all. Don't forget you might go up against faculty, too. They're tough stuff. So good luck, and go be even tougher. <laughs> The only person allowed to beat you is me! Please talk to me whenever you're ready to take part. Okay, fine. Okay, you're all registered. Please head down to the battle court. Excellent. It seems like everyone is here. Some of you will certainly have heard the happy news. We have a new champion here at Naranha Academy. Yes, none other than our very own Miss Nikki. Real, that's amazing! Bienato and muchacha! Way, way to go, champ. It gives me great joy to see one of our students achieve this feat during their time at the Academy. Today's tournament was organized by your student council president, Miss Nimona, in celebration of her friend's accomplishment. I invite all of you here to see for yourselves the impressive strength of our new champion. Not to mention the talents of those students claiming the spotlight for the first time today. And of course, the superb battle prowess and acumen of our esteemed faculty. Now, without further ado, let the Academy Ace Tournament, our school battle brawl, begin. Jeez. Alright, let's jump into the first round, everyone. Who will the fates pair up today? Champion Nikki will be facing Arvin from Class 2G. You've gotta be kidding me. Up against my little champion buddy right from the first round. So how about a Nikki pet you're surprised to see me in this tournament, right? No. Wait, you actually thought I would sign up for this thing? Boy, I guess you really do get me. No wonder we're best buds. See, when we went down into Area Zero, it really drove home for me how I need to get stronger. So I've been doing off 
So I've been off doing some super special serious training with Mabastef and my team. Even if we ever end up in trouble again, I want to be there fighting beside you on the same level. So today I'm here to win, even if it might only be by a stroke of luck. Get a taste of this, Arvin's here with some spicy new flavor for you. I want you and me to be on the same level, so I'm going after this win without holding back. Okay. okay. Uh, body press it. Goodbye, Greedent. Toad scroll, that's fine. Play rough, please. Oh no, it's grass ground. Why did I think it was grass dark for a second? Gosh. Uh Oh, come on. Come on, how? It's a villain. Still kind of an awkward Pokemon to fight, I think. At least for my team. Okay, that's just rude. Oh, and now it's raining. Garganackle. Um, okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess it probably has a ground type move. It's just rock type, though, I'm pretty sure. Okay, it's setting up. That's nice. Oyster, yeah, that's worse. Mm. This tree I will be fine though. Uh, Puff's asleep. I'll just stay in. It's fine. I'm putting everything I've got into this. No regrets allowed. No leftovers after this meal. Let's light up this cool battle brawl. My boss stiff brighter than anybody.
Let's put those great jaws to use, bud. We're gonna chew up her hopes of victory. Hmm. Cool. Eh, whatever. It's fine. Doesn't really matter. You're so strong and cool. I'm real proud to call you my best friend, you know. The winner of the first round battle is Champion Nikki. Alright, that Professor Skip put up a heck of a fight on a spicy start, and that's only the first match. Whew, the strength of a champion is legit. It hurts to lose, but I'm proud of you, little buddy. Maybe I should think about going around to all those gyms myself sometime. You'd better try just as hard as I would have in round two for me. Next up is the second round. I'm sure you're ready to hear the matchup. Champion Nikki will be facing Jacques. You're just petting everyone against me, huh? I hear you went out on your treasure hunt and wound up becoming a champion. That's quite the achievement. I guess I'm the homeroom teacher for two champion rank students now. I won't lie, I'm feeling a wee bit of pressure here. I've got to work so or I've got to work hard so my students don't outshine me too much, huh? Well then, let's get started, shall we? Here's hoping I do okay. Show me what you've got in your own way and at your own pace. Um, hmm. I mean, I don't have anything specifically good against this, but dog fight, maybe. Okay, things are starting off good for me. Yeah, you just keep weakening yourself there, because it's not doing, like, any damage to Puff. Puff does not feel those fighting-type moves at all. Mudsdale, okay. Probably sending something special-based, because it probably has stamina. Let's go! Psychic! Okay. Perfect. 
Wow, it has ice punch. Ooh, it survived. Okay then. Oh my gosh. But why? But why? And for regular wrath. Mm. Sure, buff. Why not? Wow, you sure are strong. Is there some secret in the way you raise your Pokemon? I wouldn't think so. These are all pretty normal Pokemon. Just a little energy and there you have it. Now watch as my Pokemon terrestrializes. Okay, what type is this thing then? Psychic, nice. Let's try something a little different. I wonder what effect this will have on the battle. How is that a little different? Oh, poor little Puff. Not standing up well. It's fine. We'll be fine. Haha, <laughs> you did great. And the winner is Nikki. Yeah, you beat me. You're quite the strong trainer, aren't you, Nikki? You're more fit for the teaching profession profession than I am with that boundless confidence of yours. Mr. Jacques, did I hear you correctly just now? Oh, uh, hi, director. Are you angry with me? <laughs> well, I'm going to go get yelled at. Good luck in the coming battles. Finally, only four teachers remain. Time for our con only four trainers remain. Time for our contestants to face their third matches. Okay. The school battle brawl is for deciding the strongest trainer in the academy, right? Man, I am so pumped up. There's no better place for me to show off my strengths. And I hear you're the reason we're having this tournament. You have my thanks for that. You kid, no, champion Nikki. As a teacher, I feel like it's my duty to lead my students to success. But, since I am the battle studies teacher here, I can't very well lose in battle, can I? So don't expect me to go easy on you. I'm gonna give it all I got. Okay, so this is like the third, not... Yeah. Yes. Let's have a good clean battle, okay? Best of luck. 
You're gonna get so tired doing that. Oh my gosh, of course you missed. Why wouldn't you miss? All right, come on, Puff. You can hit this. Alucha. Sure. Oh, of course she is the fire one, huh? Um, I still have psychic fangs, though. Nice, nice. Feed me, feed me. Goodness, what, like the water one? Okay. Pretty bulky, not gonna lie. And Medicham, let's see if Puff can sweep. It should be a bit of a physical attack. Okay, it's dead anyway, it doesn't matter. Medicham's usually a physical attacker because pure power or whatever. You got real fighting, you new kid. This battle's really stoked my fighting spirit. When do I stop being new kid? And you push past your limits day by day. Also. Heavy slam. Mm, okay. Almost. Almost a sweep. As you've honed your skills, new kid, Hosu. You have to say that after every sentence. And the winner, yeah, okay. No way, I got crushed, but I still got something great out of this battle. This was a massive chance for me to grow. You may be surprised to hear this, but we adults are still learning every day too. That's why we're always harping on you kids to study. Turns out we actually do know what we're talking about. Thanks for the battle. Keep aiming for the top in this tournament, and don't forget. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's one last match. Nikki against the top champion, Gita. Good day, champion Nikki. I had a feeling I would meet you in the finals. Hone strength against hone strength. Such a clash is what captures the crowd and makes their heart race. This is extremely close to what I would call my ideal world. As the chairperson for both the Pokemon League and the Academy, I find the situation to be incredibly satisfying. Now, if we both push each other to greater heights, we will achieve greater synergy. Come, Champion Nikki, our battle will inspire, inspire all those who watch us today. Let me show you the full might of the top champion. This 
Spathra, okay. Let us set an example for everyone, you and I. 69, okay. She's higher leveled at least. King Gambit. Mm hmm. Um, I'll just break break it. I feel like it would really be best if you sent this thing out later. It's getting strength from the fallen or whatever. Um, I think I'm good. Let this thing have iron head or something. Guess I'll never know. Have a look. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess you're still my best counter for that. Oh, the Rocky Helmet still counts for Avalanche. I forgot it was a contact move. It really doesn't look like one. Veluza. Yeah, we should switch out for that one. That's fine. And Glamora. Okay, good luck can be. Um. make this match a fitting one for the finale, a grand spectacle. Yeah, no, terrestrializing is not gonna help, because it's gonna be using rock moves. May you shine as brightly as the future of Paldea, Glamora. Power, that's nice. Through the power of leftovers, although I think Kimmy might actually survive that anyways. Um Yeah. You're done. The future of Paldea is bright indeed. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen, the victor of this tournament. And that's the strongest trainer in the whole academy is Champion Nikki. 
Ooh. Nikki, you did it, you did it! Okay, 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 everyone's just screaming my name. That's great. That's good. Sure. Do I get to graduate now? I would like to extend my thanks to everyone who made this extraordinary tournament possible. Each and every trainer demonstrated beautifully the bond they share with their Pokemon. I couldn't take my eyes off of any of the matches. Taking lessons from tradition, growing stronger and greater. That is our motto at Naranja Academy, and the tournament truly lived up to our ideals. Now, I'm aware my speeches tend to get a little, shall we say, overlong, so I'll wrap it up there. I will now turn the floor over to our special guest, Chairwoman Gita. The friendly rivalry of the trainers, the cheering and encouragement from the crowd, I feel like these are the perfect ingredients for the academy. No, for the whole Paldea region to become more lively and energized. Champion Nikki was far stronger today than when she took the Pokemon League's final test. It is clear that she strives to become better every day, even after reaching such an esteemed rank. It is my sincere hope that all Paldea's people will be inspired not just by her, but by every trainer gathered here who aimed for new heights, and that the seeds for many more future champions will be sown. I eagerly await news of all your achievements. Thank you, Chairwoman Gita. Now, alas, it is time for this wonderful tournament to come to an end. But this event seems to me to be a wonderful way to build rapport between faculty and students and invigorate the wider community beyond our walls, so... I hereby declare that the Academy Ace Tournament will not end as a one-time event and will continue to be held regularly. Awesome! Yay! Maybe I'll join next time too! Oh my gosh, yes! This is everything I wanted! I do hope you'll participate next time, Miss Nimona. Absolutely! I wouldn't miss it for anything! Well, dear students and staff, that wraps up our very first Academy Ace Tournament. Thank you again for joining us here today, and I hope you're all excited for the next one. Yay! Nikki, you did it! Congratulations on winning it all! I'm so happy it almost made me forget the pain of everyone using Arvin's stupid school battle brawl name. Oh yeah, here's your prize. Oh, thanks. Director Clavel told me you got caught up in all the excitement and forgot to give it to you. So I guess you get the strongest in the school throne for now, Nikki. Keep it warm for me. I'm gonna be in the tournament next time and I'll be coming right for you. Whenever you feel like entering the tournament again, just talk to the staffer at the front desk. You know, Nikki, I've relished every day since you moved here to Paldea and became my rival. I'm so glad I met you. I mean it. Sure. <laughs> come on, don't make me lush. Anyway, I'll be seeing you on the battle court for a good long time to come. Hello, hello, Nikki. This is Jacques. Congratulations on winning the Academy Ace Tournament. I sure am proud to have one of my students become the Academy's Ace. <laughs> Mr. Jacques. Uh, don't worry, Director Clavel. I'll get to the point now. I'm actually calling you... Calling to tell you that highly difficult terror raids are cropping up all over the place. We're getting report after report from Academy students about their Pokemon getting injured. We teachers have split up to investigate these raids, but we're still a bit short-handed. So, we were wondering if we could enlist your help, since you're the Academy's ace and all. How about it, Nikki? Okay. Ooh, thank you! Your Pokedex automatically automatically records the data we need as you go, so don't worry about that. For now, I'd like you to just take on a lot of these tough terror raid battles. But don't get on over your head. Even the Academy's ace needs to be careful. I sure would be sad if one of my precious students got injured. Anyway, we're counting on you. Fine. Is that like an actual thing or is it just, oh, hey, there's higher leveled raids now. Okay, let me do some investigating here. Okay. I looked into it and there doesn't seem to be much else left. So you can apparently rematch Team Star. I suppose there's doing the Ace Tournament or whatever again 
to match Nimona. And of course there's the teacher who wants the sweet Urban Mystica, which I should be able to get from raids now, in high level ones at least. So those are the main things. Um, So next time I might wrap up all those loose ends, but honestly, that'll probably be it unless, you know, this game really does release DLC at some time, but that probably won't be for a while, even if it does. So, yeah, next time will probably be the last one. Depending on how long, I guess, it takes to go do all the rematches. Probably won't show the whole tournament again unless there's new people in it, so... I don't know. One to two more episodes. I'll probably find the sweet herb off-screen. So I don't think there's much point in me recording, ton me doing a ton of raids or anything, so... Yep. We're winding down.